Many women raise the question, can I breastfeed and bottle feed? With that question, there are many important factors to consider to reduce the risk of breast refusal. Let me start by saying that it is always the right of the woman to choose however she feeds her baby. In my practice, it is wise to avoid the unnecessary introduction of a bottle and teat if you would like to breastfeed. Some of the main considerations are the hard silicon teat, no matter how well marketed, requires a totally different oral function than the unique nipple and soft pliable breast tissue and is highly likely to result in oral confusion. Fast feeding is also a common problem, which increases the likelihood of gastrointestinal disturbance and the baby's expectation of instant gratification. Another consideration is the requirement to regularly express to maintain the milk producing hormone and the possible risk of reduced or low milk volume. Of course, there are times when it's necessary to introduce bottle or cup feeding, for example, when a mother is returning to work. However, I do have more information about this on my online program. In my practice, there are no rules and I respect every mother and her choices. In my experience though, it's important to realise that introducing oral devices without understanding the impact of these key considerations does complicate breastfeeding. I'm Dr Robin and happy breastfeeding.